Hello and welcome to this tutorial giving you an overview of the flags and kudos and the different ways that you can use them in the Starfish Early Alert system. Let's start by showing you which flags and kudos are available for the faculty and staff to raise. The first flag listed is for academic progress. This flag can be used to comment on a student's class progress, concerns on a test or quiz, or the instructor can comment about the possibility of the student failing the course. The athlete injury report flag gives coaches for Mayville State the opportunity to let instructors and advisors and anyone involved with the student let them know that he or she has suffered an injury. This just helps everyone be aware of any of the details that are involved in this, this athlete's injury. The next flag is attendance concern. This is a system flag that will automatically be raised when a student has two absences in a class. This flag is why it's so crucial for instructors to consistently take attendance for each class. Next we have the behavioral concern flag. This can be raised when anyone has a serious concern about a student's social or emotional behavior. This can be when a student suddenly becomes withdrawn from class or simply if the student falls asleep too much during lecture. This concern will then be brought to MSU's care team to review the issue. This whole thing is because we want to be proactive when it comes to our students' emotional health. Also with this, the students will not be able to see this flag when it's raised on them or the comments that are added. The general concern flag is very similar to the behavioral concern flag. The difference is that the general concern flag can be raised when there's an issue in any area. It also requires the flag raiser to add comments about why the flag is being raised. The other difference is that the student will be able to see this flag in the comments that are added. The homework help flag is raised when the instructor has determined the student will need extra assistance with their coursework. That one's pretty straightforward. The next two flags listed are when students want to raise a flag on themselves. The two options are, I have a question and I need help. The student can raise these flags and then add comments about what their concern or question is. Then the appropriate faculty or staff will be notified on how to resolve the issue. Now so far, most of these flags have been associated with negative behavior by the student. We also want to be positive and let them know when they're doing a good job. So faculty and staff have the opportunity to raise kudos as well. Anytime a student performs well or has shown improvement in their coursework, the faculty or staff can raise these kudos for students as much as they want. The three positive reinforcement kudos are the kudos, outstanding academic performance, and showing improvement. The kudos can be given when a student does well in anything, a general pat on the back, if you will. The outstanding academic performance can be raised when it's associated with success in the classroom. And the showing improvement can be raised when a student has progressed nicely and deserves recognition for it. Next, we have the missing or late assignments flag. This can be raised when a student has late or missing coursework and he or she should contact their instructor to discuss how that coursework should be handled. The non-athlete injury report is another flag that gives everyone on campus the opportunity to share information about an injury. Anyone that needs to be aware of the details of the situation will be notified. The no-show financial aid flag can be raised when the student is missing critical financial documents or if the student has not attended class for the first two weeks of the semester. The last flag is for plagiarism and cheating. An instructor can raise this flag when a student is suspected of cheating in the class or plagiarizing any material. Once this is raised, the appropriate staff will be notified and the if issue will be addressed. Now that you know what the flags and the kudos are and when you should be able to raise them, we'll look at how to raise them and how to manage and close the loop with these flags. 
Flags and kudos can be given at any time by an instructor or advisor by simply clicking on the box next to the student's name and then going up to the flag or the kudos option underneath the tracking items. Now for this one we'll use a flag. This will bring up a pop-up box that will prompt you to choose a flag from the drop-down menu. Now these options will look different depending on your role. So an instructor will probably see more options than just a general staff member. For this one, we'll choose a behavioral concern. Now if comments are required, which this one is not, but if they are, it will prompt you to add comments about the details of why this flag was raised and what to do to resolve it. Also, if a course context is required, it will ask you which course that this flag is associated with. Also, depending on your role, there is an option some of you will have to be able to assign this flag to anybody else. That will be a limited number of people that have this function, but it is available for some of you. The assign the flag will simply let the person that you assign it to, it will notify them that the flag has been raised and what to do about it. Also on the bottom here you'll be able to see a quick recap of who's able to see these tracking items if they have a relationship with the student. Once you choose a flag, behavioral concern, no comments are required, you hit save and the tracking item flag has been raised. Once you've done this the flag has been raised and everybody associated with that flag will be notified that there is an issue that needs to be resolved. We'll cover how to close the loop and resolve those issues in another tutorial. But for now, you should be able to now raise flags or kudos at any point for a student that may need help or deserves praise. You should be able to add comments to clarify what needs to be addressed. And you should be able to manage the flags accordingly by assigning responsibilities to the people that can resolve the issue. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Goodbye.